friends. So I wanted to make a video using some recipes of the baby lead weaning so far that my daughter has loved. So what is baby lead weaning? By definition, Baby lead weaning is a method of introducing solid food to babies where purees and spoon feeding are skipped in favor of finger foods that a baby self feeds. So this method is really popular because it's supposed to help your baby be a lot less picky when they grow a little older, get them familiar with different textures, both in their mouth and like touching. Cause the first thing that I ever gave Melanie was a banana. It was pretty mushy and she didn't really like it at first at all. She was just like crying. She was so upset and I was like, oh my gosh, this is not going good. But you have to stick with it. By like the second or third try, as soon as I put the banana down on her tray, then she just immediately picked it up and started eating. So you have to be consistent with it, okay? I know they're gonna get upset at first, they're gonna cry, they're gonna get mad, but you'll thank yourself in the end. Also, baby lead weaning is super, super messy, but the two types of bibs that I found to be like really helpful, this is just like the normal silicone one because it almost has like a bowl where a lot of the food just falls and I can just get it after and keep feeding her or now she scoops it out herself and just eats it from there from whatever she's dropped or a fan favorite of mine because in the beginning stages you're not really bathing them every day now we do with her bedtime routine that she's a little older but in the beginning I did not bathe her every day I bathed her be like once or twice a week, something like that. This depends on your baby's sensitivity of skin and whatnot, you know. So because I didn't bathe her every day, I wanted something that was a lot more like coverall. And so I really thought this apron was super helpful. So it fully covers them, okay? It still has the pouch. And I got this on Amazon, I believe. It's from the brand Tiny Twinkle. Super cute. I have another one in a different color and I'll have both these bibs linked in my Amazon storefront in the caption down below. Okay, so baby lead weaning, where do you start? Okay, there is an app called Solid Starts. I think everyone that wants to start this journey should definitely download it. It gives you age appropriate servings and like the way to serve them to your baby. So they say you should start the process of baby lead weeding at six months. So I did do purees, I still do purees. She gets puree pouches, things like that. But like maybe six months and like a week or so, <laughs> I definitely started with solid foods just to get her more familiar with it all. So the app Solid Starts, when you sign up, it looks like you have to pay, but you don't. There is a free version, okay? It's not like an actual button, it's an invisible button. So when you get to this page, you're gonna click continue without food recipes and tracking. Cause you don't need recipes. You can look that up on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, wherever you wanna look. You just need to know how to serve the food to your baby properly for their age to reduce choking hazards. And they literally have almost any food you can think of. Like, okay, so they have eggs, strawberry, avocado, bread, banana. So like I was saying with the banana earlier, so for six months plus, you either give them to them in a whole half or in spears. Then when they reach nine months and they're working on their, you know, um, like your little pincher and grabbing abilities, then you can make them into little bite-sized pieces. So this is kind of what it looks like. It'll give different examples of this. So like for salmon, how to serve salmon to babies. So it'll show six months, nine months, 12 months. So it's on your phone, it's a free app, it's a really good guide to use when you don't know what to do. Because I have no idea what to do. With the second baby, I'll probably still look at this depending on what food it is because it's just nice to have a guide, you know? With that being said, no one knows your baby more than you. So if you feel like your baby cannot handle some of that stuff, because it says for six months with bread, like toasting and like, I think it being like the size of two fingers, like a strip, I didn't feel comfortable with it. I gave her a piece of toast and or maybe it was half at that time. I don't remember, but I gave her a piece of toast and she was just like, sucking on it too much and it was getting soggy and I was getting scared. I just took it away from her. <laughs> so it's just, you know, some things 
you know, you'll be more comfortable with than others. With the banana, sometimes she would just like put way too much in her mouth. So I just took it and I'll just smash it or I'll, you know, pinch it, make it a little more mushy and then give it to her. So do whatever you're comfortable with. You know your baby, you know how they are. Cause sometimes my girl is a freaking monster when it comes to eating and I knew even though it was saying like the smaller pieces is better at nine months, mm, I'm giving her smaller pieces when she was a little younger because it was just, it's just scary sometimes, you know? And you always make sure that you're with them, like within distance because anything can happen at any moment. They can start choking or whatever. And truly, I think if you're doing baby lead weaning, you need to be at least in the know and up to date on like, what to do for infant CPR. I am not CPR certified instructor to like tell you what to do, you know, but you really need to just hit on that back. Yeah, just, I mean, cause it could happen. Sometimes they just take way too much in and it is scary when it's, you know, it's your baby, it's your life, literally your heart right there. So it's just always better to be safe than sorry. So again, I would review some CPR videos. Just make sure you feel a little more confident, up to date, like you know what you're doing, you know. If God forbid, you know, you do need to start beating them in the back. Um, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. But for today, I'm going to show the recipe that she has been loving lately, which are chicken veggie nuggets. So you can do, I'm sure, any combination of veggies that you want. But today I'm gonna be using broccoli and carrots as our veggies. And then for the chicken, you just buy ground chicken and then just kinda like smash it all together. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, make sure you wash and peel your veggies. So for the carrots, I already peeled them off camera. And I actually already just bought a pre-washed bag of broccoli florets, so. That's all good. So since the broccoli is already in smaller pieces, I do like to cut the carrots up maybe into like three sections just to make it easier for boiling and for mashing. So you wanna make sure you always cut the ends off of your carrots just cause that's usually like the nasty parts. <laughs> and we don't want that. Okay, so put it in. And then however much broccoli you wanna add really, I feel like that's kind of a good amount. So add some water and put it on the stove. Okay, so now that that's boiling, you want it to boil, I don't know, I probably leave mine on there for honestly like 20 minutes, just so it's like, you know it's nice, soft, where you can just easily mash it, so there's no chunks, nothing like that. You can also chop it up if you'd like, but honestly I think you just boil it enough where that thing is basically mush as soon as you touch it and that's what you want. And then when that's done, we'll add the ground chicken and all the little seasonings and spices. Okay, as you can see, it's dark now, okay? A lot of things have happened. Melanie has woken up, I have started dinner. However, we will continue with the chicken veggies, okay? These are nice and boiled, okay? They were in there for quite a while. So I have a potato masher, so that's what we will use. Mash it all together. You mash it all together until it's nice and mush. Then we're gonna add the chicken. What I do is I just put the ground chicken in half and then I freeze the other half the next time I wanna start making nuggets. So this is the pile that was already frozen because technically I made some earlier today but I did it with sweet potato and I don't know if it was just the potato inside that was making it like mushy or if it wasn't cooked all the way. I cooked it for like 30 minutes so it should have been cooked all the way. I just didn't trust it so I threw them out. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit of breadcrumbs, garlic, onion powder, and paprika. Decent amount of each. Gotta get some good flavor in there. And then we'll just add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Okay, now that everything's together, you mix it all together. A very nice balanced diet. They got the protein, the veggies, all in one. It's nice, it's tasty. I mean, you could eat it yourself as a nice little snack if you want, which I mean, I've tasted it sometimes when I'm feeding it to her, and it is pretty good. Okay, when everything's all good and done, now you're gonna set your oven at 375 
pop these bad boys in there like you're gonna make patty shapes stick them in there for about 30 minutes give or take when you reach 30 minutes check it if you feel like it needs to be cooked just a little bit longer do increments of five minutes that's what i usually do yes but if you do not have time for the oven and your little one is getting cranky and hangry sooner than you thought then just make patties and put them on the stove top and oil and cook them that way so that's what i'm actually going to do right now i'm going to make four patties on the stove and then the rest I'm gonna bake. So then obviously just watch them cook. I'm not exactly sure how long to cook on each side, maybe like three to four minutes each side. But when you see that it's starting to brown, then flip them. I flip it again leave it and then let it cool down and when serving this i personally don't just give her the full patty i like to give her little pieces and then she just eats it that way and she devours it so good and then this is what it will look like when you are done so now let's feed it to melanie and see how she likes it so i break it up into pretty like small bite-sized pieces no i actually just got this and she loves it yeah, yeah. So I'll leave the recipe and instructions down below if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please if you tried this recipe make sure you leave a comment down below tell me how your little baby liked it I'm sure they will happy dance and then also let me know what video you'd like to see next we'll see you next time bye Thank you. Yeah.